Thank you very much. Thanks, MJ. Yep, there goes Barry just past me. I know that uh, they'll be very happy with that result, but obviously the win would have been a little bit better. Obviously, of course, we can follow the second horse being Mauritius Kestrel, uh, the judge had to spend some time. It was very, very close on top, but it will go to the filly. That's number eight, Miss Argonaut, top right, Aldo Dermer. Well done to P. Musket all the way back in Durban. And Aldo's just about to join me. Well done, Aldo. Good to see you as always. And um, yeah, I mean, she's a lovely filly. Uh, just having a look at her, she traveled beautifully. Beautifully. She went down to the start nicely. You must have been happy with that win. Yeah, definitely. She's shown at home that she, she's going to come forward wherever she runs here today. And um, getting a bit of a line from the boys. She's nice and precocious, athletic sort of filly. So I was expecting a nice run from her. I was expecting her to need it at the same time. So I held it together and Louis all started running at us and she found a little bit more. I thought I did just enough to hold on, but he, he was leaping towards the line. And um, a little bit disappointed in, in a certain regard when... If it's that close and they're taking that long to separate us, I don't see why it can't just be a dead eat, you know. So, uh, unfortunately, that spoils had to get taken away from them. I think it's something we could have shared. But that's just uh, something I think we can look at towards the future. I think there should be a margin where when horses hit the, the line together, there should be a margin that they could enter. And even in that line together, they should basically spoil the shares. Uh, it's tough enough as is, and uh, I think if we share the rewards, it's uh, all more blessings to go around. I'm not going to keep you too much longer. Top rod. Well done, Aldo. Thanks so much, buddy. Thanks to Mr. Murugasa for the opportunity. Mr. Muscat, he's, every time I jumped off at work, he was keen to see how she was doing. And as I said, wherever she runs here, she's going to progress quite nicely. Nice athletic sort uh, to Mr. Stain, Albert, everyone involved. Taking a nice uh, uh, care of this filly, and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll see some more of her. Hopefully we'll see you later. Thanks, buddy. Well done, Aldo. Good to see him as always. Top ride, top win. Be with the second horse next time out. I'm going to get you back to Vicky or close off what's been a very good race to watch. Brandon, it was a very good race to watch, and I think a very good finish to watch. But uh, it was Miss Argonaut that took the, the win, the daughter of Lady State. Obviously, the fillies in your yard, you're looking after her. Good win. Yeah, uh, uh, Pete, when Pete left, he sent the filly to me. She came in brilliant conditions. He said she ran a very good fourth. I just carried on. He told me what to do with her, so I just kept on to her. Uh, like Pete is a top trainer, so I've got to listen to the man. Um, uh, anyway, well done to Mr. Maragusa, uh, the owner, um, and well done to Pete, you know, and, uh, yeah, and well to, to, to all the Dom Ayer, you know. uh, I don't know what he was talking about, dead it, so I couldn't work it out, I'll have to speak to him about the situation, you know. I, I, wanna, I can't work this out, but, but anyway, well done to everyone involved, thank you very much. Mr. Stain, well done. Thank you. If you can please accept the checks, Ms. Argonaut is a Cape Racing Sales Read to Run Sale graduate. So Albert will also join Pete. You've got two checks to hold up. There you go. And now you get to smile to the cameras. Well done to Chef Lee Stud for breeding the daughter of Legislate. Very good win. She's a beautiful athletic filly with a very good strong hind quarter. So well done to all the winning connections. Good win in race one. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Miss Argonaut just took a trip to Mauritius. Wow, what a race for Miss Argonaut. And this is Hollywood Bets Kenworth. Ladies and gentlemen, race number one. It is unfortunate that our groom, Robert, couldn't join us because he had to rush uh, back to the back with uh, Miss Argonaut. Unfortunately, Robert could not be with us. But courtesy of Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing, Robert, a massive, massive congratulations to you and the Muskets team. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Bets Kenilworth and this is race number one. Let's go watch that replay one more time before we head over to race number two. <laughs> 